Well, good morning. It is Tuesday, January the 9th. It's a rainy morning, but it's going up in the 50s today, so goodbye snow. We're going into the King James Bible, the book of Genesis, chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. And the fear of you, and the dread of you, shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, and upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast, I will require it. And at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood by man, shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I behold, I established my covenant with you and with your seed after you. And with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be any more flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken. And when he was uncovered within his tent, and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. Now, Last year, I highlighted with brackets, because I didn't have a highlighter, the section from verses 8 
to 17 about God's covenant, which is the rainbow in the sky. So we're trying to learn something about God here. And what we see is that God himself created a rainbow as a sign of the covenant that he establishes between every living creature and himself. That's all the animals, everything that creepeth upon the earth and man between them and God himself. He made this covenant. And what he has said is, well, every time it rains and there's a rainbow, that is to remind me of the covenant that I made between you, between us. So you can see how much of a defilement it is to use the rainbow for other abominations upon this world as their symbol. To take the sign of the covenant from God and to use it in such an abominable way is truly unforgivable. There's another section, verse 5, and I put a question mark against it. And, and to be quite honest, I don't know how to interpret it. Um, and surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Now, I can only say that he just, he means that, you know, you will die. You're not going to live on forever. I will require your life, require the life of man. The thing about shedding blood um, probably refers to the Ten Commandments that he's about to establish, but as yet he hasn't done. Um, of course, we've also seen the sad saga of Cain and Abel. Uh, that's as far as I can get with it. If anyone else has a clearer explanation, then please, please advise. Then there's the issue of Noah getting drunk and falling asleep naked in his tent. And Ham saw his father's nakedness. Now, instead of going, oh, I shouldn't have seen that and covering his father up, he goes and tells his brother. And his brothers act in the most incredible way they cover their shoulders, they walk backwards, and then they lay a cover, a blanket, over their father so they don't see his nakedness. This is respect of the father. And Ham did not show respect for his father. Can you see how the father image, the hierarchy, is strong with God? As men, we have a lot to live up to. Noah lived another 350 years after the flood. He died at the age of 950. Can you imagine living on this life, on this world, for 950 years? Methuselah, 969 years? I think it's incredible that Enoch lived 365 years. I'm at the age now where people are starting to fall away from me. And certainly I've seen people much younger have fallen away and pray have gone to be with the Lord. <clears throat> we struggle to reach a decent age in this life. And it's, it's difficult to understand how someone could live so long and walk with God like Enoch did for 365 days, 365 years. He walked with God and then was no more. It must be difficult for, must have been difficult for them. I sure screwed up the first 50 years of my life after the age of 15. And I'm ashamed of it. I'm ashamed because I was given a good start, a reasonably good start, 
but I sure didn't walk with God. So, what we understand here is that there are some very hard, concrete issues being laid down here, that we will be held responsible for another man's blood, that the rainbow in the sky is a sign of the covenant between us and God for perpetual generations, and that we should respect our Father. And our Father, our greatest Father, is Abba Father, God Almighty. Thank you for listening. Now, I'm going to be publishing a link with every post that I put, and it's going to be my YouTube channel. And uh, I published last night that I'm giving up Facebook. Facebook has become an abomination to me. It's become a curse. Because I make everything public, I've been vulnerable to um, attack from undesirable people all the time. And as well as that, there's so much being shared and put out there that is ungodly. Uh, I use the word demonic. A lot of people kind of struggle using that word, but it's exactly what it is. If it's not of God, it's of Satan. And there's so many things that divert our attention away and confuse the issues in life. And fortunately, YouTube has some pretty good algorithms so that when we watch it and we continue to watch good things, it only suggests good things and doesn't interfere. And then later on, we're probably going to pay the $100 subscription and do away with the commercials as well. YouTube for us has been healthy. Facebook has not. It's been a great diverter of our attention. It's been a distraction. And... Um, I'm going to have to say there's been many ungodly incidents and things happening and being shared and distributed. Um, I respect my privacy and nobody else seems to. And so therefore my privacy is being invaded. And yes, I put stuff out there public. I did it because I have three children whom I love dearly in England who do not look favorably upon me, but I wanted them to be able to see that I was a changed man. That has not borne any fruit. It may do in the future. God is always in charge and according to his timing. But in the meantime, I need to walk closer with God. And uh, I will be closing down my Facebook channel. Yes, it will mean the other pages will most likely go as well that I created. Um, but I will be publishing everything on YouTube and I'll be putting the link every day until probably the 1st of February, when I will transfer over to YouTube entirely. I pray that you stay with me. I pray that you understand what I'm saying. I'm not asking anyone else to do the same. If you have control over your pages and you keep things private and amongst friends, then you probably have lessened the degree of, of invasion of your privacy. But... Um, it's been far too long and far too much, and, and to be quite honest, it's worn me down thin, and I just can't deal with it anymore. So the best thing to do is, is as it says in Scripture, to flee from the devil. There's a time to stand and fight, and there's also a time to flee. And fleeing from the devil means if you see something that is bad, and it's a negative influence on your life, then flee from it. And I've done that on occasions, and I've been called a coward because of it. But I don't think people fully understood what was going on. So use your own discretion. Pray to God. Let the power of the Holy Spirit give you discernment and guidance and help and comfort, because that's his job. Remember, God does all of this and gives us all of this because he loves us. And I love you too. Thank you for listening. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye for now.